hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome uh, i'm bushra and um if you don't know me i am a mom to an almost five year old girl and i've also got a six month old son and i make videos on motherhood lifestyle traveling uh yeah so these kinds of things and today is a very special day for me again because it's going to be my daughter's fifth birthday in a couple of days and today i'm going to be sharing with you all the presents that i've got for her for this birthday so without further ado let's get started so i have divided her presents into four categories i believe yes yeah, so the first one would be books and um, then some creativity stuff and then some girly stuff and then finally some educational stuff like board games or um, puzzles and things like that so let's move on to books first um whenever i'm buying books i just think i would just buy one or two but i always buy you know i always end up buying quite a lot actually and this year as well i've gone um i think i've bought quite a lot uh but yeah just let's dive into books now straight away it's just my favorite thing to do um yeah so the first one i've got for her is this paddington suitcase um so we've got eight uh picture books in it by michael bond and it is i think it was like a um 11 or 12 good i have also got two books from us foreign so uh you know just because of these viruses going around i think it's good for her to know like she knows what the germs are but just to like make her more aware and what are vaccines why do we get germs and those sort of questions the question and answers book uh about germs from us foreign and then uh, there's another one what are germs uh this one is a very basic one for her but i think she should start from this one and then move on to the question and answers one nine eight or nine quid and this one was um six or seven and by the way i would say most of the toys i've got most of the presents i've got for my uh daughter are from amazon they are amazon buys because it's just uh, quite convenient for me not to leave the house and keep buying stuff and um, you know with this six month old baby so yeah uh, anyway let's just keep on moving with the book so yeah so the other one i bought for her is uh um this fantastically great women who changed the world i think there are more in the series as well but i, I really like that one i think it's uh, i just want her to you know just get into thinking that what women can do and uh, yeah just um some some sort of inspiring stories about different women around the world who have changed the world so yeah and i think she would absolutely love reading about them and i've got this lovely book because she's just started reception so i thought this would be a very um useful book to just like you know um make her learn to respect the chairs in school and then i've also got rain before rainbows it's a beautiful book and then we also got invisible string and the only reason i bought it it's just i need to explain to her that wherever she is there will be always a string uh, between us and uh, wherever she's around the world and then I've also got Wobbly Saurus for her. That's from Rachel Bright. And it's always her, you know, from the famous um, book from the writer of the line, from the author of Lion Inside. Um, so yeah, her books are really, you know, giving those lessons at the end. So they have got morals and yeah, Wobbly Saurus. It's about a dino just learning to um, cycle. So yeah, it will be a good one for her as well. So yeah, that's all in the books. So the second category I would be showing you now is the, you know, the girly side of things which I bought for her. I've not bought too much on that side because she's already got a lot. So, uh, yeah. So I think, so that's the first thing I've got for her. I think it was like six or seven quid, quid from Amazon. And it's, a, a, you know, a bag full of scrunchies. And, you know, you get different colors and they come in pairs. So they're not like they want to just tie two ponies that, that would definitely go with um yeah so yeah and uh, you could also use them for like the uh, party bags as well like if there are seven or eight girls in that class and if you just want to make those party bags you could put like one in each so that would be a good um uh, party bag party bag filler item as well so yeah so these are lovely she is going to love them i think they use as bracelets like a as a band in the wrist as well but we'll see what she wants to do with them 
And the second thing I have got for her, which is a girly stuff, is um this. It's a, it's um, what is it actually? Spiral glitter wand. Uh, it's um, it's got glitter in the water, I think. And yeah, she had a wand. She broke it, and she's still asking for a wand. So I thought, why not go for a wand, which is a bit different from the you know the standard plastic ones. Um, you know, the ones we usually get are silver and golden with jewels in it. So I thought, why not go, go for, uh, you know, something slightly different. She is going to love it. And I think my six-month-old is going to love it as well, see, seeing the stars moving in the in the water. Uh, so yeah, that was all the, so that was all the girly stuff I've got for her. So the third category I would move on to is the creativity side. And I think I bought quite a lot of stuff in that area. Uh, because she loves, uh, you know, di creating different things and painting and uh, things like that. So yeah, let's um, let's have a look at those bits. So yeah, so the first one I've got for is Melissa and the creative by me. It's like, a, you know, painting butterflies and decorating them with the beads. So I got it from Amazon, five or six quids. I'll quickly move on through these things. So I've also got these... Um, glitter pens from Gelt Toys again three or four quid and then I've also got uh, these you know erasable gel pens so they've got an eraser at the bottom and they can write with them and erase them I think I got these ones from Temu I don't know yes I think for a quid or two so yeah and then again I have got this sharpener which is really really cute again from Temu uh, less than a quid um, I got these stickers, sets of stickers, I think they're 30 in it, uh, 3D stickers uh, with butterflies, hearts and everything, so I think 7 or 8 quid from Amazon. Um, and then I've got a sparkly uh, fairy sticker book, she loves sti sticker books and if it is from Osborne, makes it even more colourful. Um, yes yeah, so so yeah she is absolutely going to be in love with uh the sticker book again six or seven quid from amazon and then i've got a mirror mosaic uh, i think this one was nine pounds from amazon so i've got a butterfly and a peacock one there are different in the they make others as well uh but i got this one because that one was the cheapest i think nine pound was uh, enough for that Others were a bit expensive, which I think was not worth it. Yeah, so they get these um, sort of um, shiny stickers and they have to, you know, paste it in the pictures. They have to paste it on the pictures and it comes out so beautiful. And I'm sure she would love it. Yeah, so nine pounds from Amazon for that one. And then I've also got, um, again, from Amazon, seven or eight quid uh, paper plate craft kits. I think they have three styles to choose from. I don't know which one I bought. I think I bought that one. So yeah, another one she would absolutely be in love with it. Um, I also got a set of paints from Crayola. Uh, I think nine or ten pounds from Amazon. I've also got um, this beautiful pen from again from Temu. Um, I think we can find it on. I, I did find it on Amazon B and M as well. But by the time I had already bought it from Temu, it was le like less than a, a quid. So it has got 10 colors and it's a cute little bunny. And yeah, so they just have to lift this down to make the pen work in that uh, specific color. I've got a sketch pad uh, from Sylvine. Um, again, from Amazon, I think three or four quid. Uh, I bought some sketch like drawing pads previously as well from this brand. And I think they are they're beautiful. I mean, they're just so appealing. I think two or three. Yeah, three. Sorry, three or four quid. Um, and, and then I've got dot to dot for kids. And I've also got an activity book for kids. Uh, again, from Amazon, six or seven quid. So yeah, so that's all I've got in her creativity side. And last but not the least, I would want to show you the educational side of things I bought for her. So yes, 
So let's begin with that. And so the first thing I bought for her was uh, this fairy game. I love the games from Peaceable Kingdom um, because they are, you know, they just teach the children teamwork rather than, you know, competing with uh, the other player. So that's what I like about this brand and that's why I always buy it. It's a bit uh, on the, you know, the expensive side. I would say I paid 18 quid for this game, which I think it's a bit pricey but yeah i really love this and then i also got for her a wooden toy the wooden toy factory it's the snakes and ladders game so it is a two in one home race and snakes and ladder so that's snakes and ladder and home uh race and i've also got learning resources and a clock because she would start to learn you know she, i would just start in introducing her to how to use a clock how to see the time um and then we have also got um let's see what else have we got because i've already forgotten myself what i've got so yeah <laughs> uh, so i've got this uh, 50 piece uh, puzzle set from uh, orchard toys a uh, lovely company very useful games and yes i would definitely recommend i've got another one from this company 50 piece set of the dinosaurs and she absolutely loved it so i've got another one uh for unicorns it's her favorite and um and then i've also got a dinos dinos game it's like racing to collect the eggs but don't wake up the t-rex so it's fine for ages four plus so yeah that's another one i've got uh, and then we've got again 12 or 13 quid i think it's uh again from the same company orchard toys it's a bus stop game to help the children learn you know addition and subtraction they will count the passengers on and off the bus um and that is how it looks like so yes i think i bought this to give her on you know towards christmas or new year's time but i thought it's it would be too early for her that's why i kept it for her fifth birthday so so yes these were all the presents i have got for her if you like my video please hit like and also subscribe to my channel so whenever i upload a new video you get the notification uh, so please hit the bell icon and um yes so that's it for the moment i hope you enjoy your day and we will uh, uh, meet again. Bye!